what was your most awkward, ha ha ha, oh wait, you're serious, moment. A man was regaling his fellow party goers with his drunken jokes. He described being found as a newborn in a field, after his teenage mother hid her pregnancy and gave birth at home. All he knew about her was she was a Waffle House waitress. We sat there, enthralled, waiting for the punchline, until we realized he'd moved from life of the party onto the in vino veritas stage of drunkenness. An old roommate wanted me to start paying more in rent because he was trying to save up to buy himself a house. Still in the shitty roommate vein of things. I had a roommate who demanded that I pay more in rent, utilities, and for general supplies, because he opened a pay stub that I had sitting in a pile of bills on the kitchen table, and realized that I made three times the amount he did. I was doing him a favor by letting him live in the apartment. Ended up kicking him out, and now have the entire place to myself, lol. Also, my name was the only name on the lease, so sucks to suck, I guess. I work in a deli, and we had a new older lady start. I was showing her how to display the chicken breast, and she turns to me and says, I'm going to have to work up to the chicken. My ex used to tie me up and hit me with raw chicken breast. This was so shocking and out of the blue I assumed it was a joke. Nope. Turns out she had just gotten out of an extremely abusive relationship. I just thought she was grossed out by raw chicken. I asked a co-worker what his son's name was, and he answered legless. After two seconds of laughing I realized he wasn't laughing. His son is actually named legless. I worked at a bookstore, and a customer asked why the hardcover and paperback versions of the same book didn't cost the same amount. I chuckled and said, I guess I'll have to look into that. He came back to me 5 minutes later and asked if I had found out yet. I went on a date with a dude in high school, and he told me that he had astral projected himself into my dreams for the past few weeks to groom me ex sexually for him. I don't know man. Was hanging out with a friend, and we ran into someone he knew from a while ago. He asked how another friend was doing. My friend, how's Jerry doing? His friend, oh, he's dead. Me, ha 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 ha, oh duck that wasn't a joke. Playing smash with some budders at their house. One guy lost in a stupid way, and he jokingly threw his controller away and pretended to throw a tantrum on the floor. We were all laughing at him, but then it kept going, and then his head shifted over to the fireplace, and he started banging his head on the bricks and bleeding. That's when we realized he was having a seizure and we all freaked out. Edit, yes he was fine later. There were cushions on the couch and his friend knew what to do. We called 911, and the firefighters came, stuck him in a stretcher and carried him off. He was back at school the next day and fine. Apparently he'd gotten seizures before, but I guess it was pretty rare. I'd known him for a year or so, and never had a clue. No, he was not walking around slamming his head into walls. He was on the ground, and the fireplace looked something like this. He was kind of a joker who liked to act over dramatic sometimes, so we literally didn't know he was having a seizure until his head ended up smacking the bricks and started bleeding. We were playing Molly, the only true smash game by the way. He mained Marth, but he was one of those tearless tryhards, so he'd also play Fox and Shake as well. I used to have an elderly patient I just love because she's just a jolly, sweet old lady, and she might have brought me some food, from time to time. She's the type of lady that's just barely understanding technology, so she gets a smartphone and tries to stay up to date with everything that's going on, and kind of looks like this, so she believes in most of the clickbait articles and satire news, like The Onion. One day, she comes by the clinic saying she's sick. I examine her. Just mild symptoms of a common cold, nothing too serious. I tell her that she has an infection, and this type of infection is treated without antibiotics, because it's not a bacterial infection but a viral infection. She understands that part, but then she asks me. Oh, so, I have a virus? Me, yes, ma'am. What you have is a virus infection. Oh, so, do I have to stop using my smartphone? To prevent my smartphone from getting the virus? At first, I smiled, because I thought it was a joke and I found it cute, but she was dead serious. Like, 
She was concerned that she couldn't get her smartphone close to her mouth because her viral infection might spread to her smartphone and get hacked. I told her it was a different kind of virus, that her smartphone was going to be fine. When I was in middle school, there was a period of a few weeks when kids would fake seizures to get a laugh. It was the hip thing to do. So, I was at the mall toy store one day, and I came around the corner of an aisle, and saw a kid a little younger than me on the ground, absolutely killing it. I delightfully shouted, dude, you are good. I'll never forget his parents faces when I looked up and figured out what was really happening. A girl I was seeing told me she didn't believe in dinosaurs. Edit. Her issue with dinosaurs wasn't so much creationist denial as much as it was a belief in a marketing scheme companies invented to sell dinosaur toys. Also the toy companies must have planted fossils, because how else did they get there? Edit 2. A couple weeks later I got her a dinosaur plushie. Edit 3. She was like. That's what they want. When I was 18, I went with my then girlfriend to Las Vegas to meet her parents. We were in Florida where she lived with her aunt and uncle. I found out that her dad and mom lived in separate houses right across the street from one another, for whatever reason, which was strange, but definitely not the strangest thing that would happen that trip. Her dad came over to her mom's house to meet me, and I couldn't help but notice he was dressed in a suit. I thought maybe he was just a fancy dresser. He kept asking me questions about my family and how I felt about his daughter. He seemed to like me, and we went through the trip on fairly pleasant terms, but nothing else happened of any note. Once we get back home to Florida, my girlfriend decides to tell me that her dad thought we were coming out to Vegas to get married, and he dressed up because he was planning on taking us to get married that day. She had to tell him that we had no intention of getting married in Vegas. Dated a girl for 4 months a few years back. One day we're chilling at my house. Ask her if she wants to watch an episode of Brian Cox's documentary Wonders of the Universe, to which she told me she doesn't believe in space. She was 100% convinced that the sky was all there was, and that space was a huge cover up by the government or some shit. At first I laughed, then we argued, and I couldn't win because I haven't been to space to prove it exists. We didn't see much of each other after that. On Wednesday, a customer asked me why our produce section was so empty, especially in terms of stuff like lettuce. I told him that it was because of extreme weather in Spain, where we source most of our stuff from. He cut off my explanation with, why does it matter what's going on in Spain, we're in Scotland? I saw a largely pregnant woman, and made a stupid comment about, bet you can't wait to get that out of you. She said, ah, not really. The baby doesn't have a heartbeat, and I'm just waiting to have a stillbirth. I met a guy who's studying engineering with me, and he mentioned to me he's part of the Flat Earth Society. I laughed at first, but he didn't laugh with me, we ended up having an hour long debate, no matter what I said, he wouldn't believe me, and I learned he believed in almost every conspiracy theory out there. We're still friends, but we don't mention politics or anything like that anymore. He's also a Trump supporter despite the fact that we live in South Africa. I used to teach drama camp, huh? I would take suggestions from the kids on Monday, write a half hour play based on those suggestions that night, and then they would perform it on Friday. I once had a parent come to see me after reading the script. She asked if there was a way to do a play with no conflict in it. I laughed, assuming that she was making fun of the other PC soccer moms I had to deal with. But she meant it. She wanted us to tell a story without any obstacles or confrontations. I then carefully explained to her that a story without conflict would not be a story, but just a series of occurrences. Man wants pizza. Man goes to fridge. There is pizza in fridge. Man eats pizza. Theater. Worked at a pet food store. A woman came in and asked where to put topical flea medicine on her kids. Frontline. I laughed way too hard. She complained to my manager, who also laughed. Everyone knows you need flea collars for kids. Parents these days. I work as a server in a restaurant. We use little wooden trays as check presenters, and since it is an open air restaurant, we weigh down the receipts with decorative stones, shiny ones like for the bottoms of fish tanks. I dropped a check for an older couple, 
and when I got back the man said, you should warn people that those rocks and chocolates. I could have broken a tooth. I get a lot of older people who like to josh around with me, so I definitely thought he was kidding. He was not. He was actually mad at me because he had tried to eat the rock, and it was obviously my fault. Met a guy, and I told him my name. He said, I'll probably not remember it. I have memory problems. I said, haha yeah, I'm bad with names too. Met him again two days later, and I remembered his name. He, on the other hand, didn't remember meeting me. And when I realized it wasn't a joke, and was told by his mother that he actually does have memory problems, I felt like an asshole. Oh well, he doesn't remember me laughing at him. Ho, oh, how do we even know that dinosaurs were called dinosaurs if they're all dead now and we've never met one in real life? Me, ha ha ha, that's funny. Ho, oh, what's funny? Me, oh honey. It took me literally half an hour to even get us slightly on board with the fact that things are called things because we decided on the name, not because things inherently have a name we discover. I wish I was joking. I was in the 4th grade when one of my classmates had alleged seizure. Only his closest friend knew he ever had them at all, and he happened to be in that class with us. This dude was a huge class clown, always trying to get a laugh, but was generally a really nice person. Of course, he's up at the blackboard, it was actually green. Strange thing to remember, and just starts convulsing. Everyone but his best friend thought it was a joke. I was too freaked out to laugh, but 90% of the other kids did. Once his friend jumped into action to keep him from slamming his head on the ground, it sunk in that this was real. I felt so bad for that kid, but as he was seizing, I really don't think he was able to hear the laughter. Sorry Danny. I was at work one day with a couple of other people, and we had a shift manager that liked to fake fight and punch people for fun. One day, one of our co-workers came to work and announced that she was pregnant. He thought it was a funny joke, ran up to her and punched her right in the stomach. She was furious. Edit, lol, rip in box. To clarify things, this guy wasn't a douche, but just overly hyper and happy. His way of congrats is to hit someone in a friendly manner. Mind you, he doesn't realize how hard he hits. Same guy was laughing about how hard a sub roll was once, but instead of tossing it, he goes, see? And then smacks me across the back of my head so hard that I saw stars. I was taking a long leg cast off a kid about two and a half to three years old. After I get the cast split open and pull it off, mother says, oh, his toe fell off. I'm like, ha, huh, nice one. The kid was in the cast because his small toe had been nearly amputated and reattached. The doc was hoping what tissue was still connected would be enough to vascularize the distal portion. It wasn't, and the kid's toe died and fell off. I loved my dad. I just feel the need to say that ahead of time. My dad lived a very hard life, never learned to read, worked with his hands his whole life to provide for my mom and I. One time when I was about 15, we were watching Jay Leno and he was doing jaywalking. I was talking about how funny it was that people could be that stupid. I said, can you believe there are really people in America who don't know how many stars are on the American flag? My dad kind of chuckled and then said, there are 52, right? I cracked up, thinking it was a joke, and then I finally stopped to see the look on his face and realized he was serious. I felt like an absolute jerk, because I knew he was hurt but I just really never imagined he was serious. I learned a pretty important lesson that day about judging people, and being careful what you say that might hurt someone. My brother and family were here on the 4th of July. I showed my sister-in-law the video from Jimmy Kimmel where they asked people on the street to explain why we celebrate that holiday. I was dying, laughing at their answers. Then she says, so why do we celebrate it? I was floored. I also felt like total shit.